first six months, we were really getting our feet under us, just getting to know one another, really doing mostly classroom uh, type training. Next six months has really picked up the pace a lot and we've covered so many different things. Everything from learning to do space walks in the neutral buoyancy lab, a giant swimming pool. The first dives were incredible. Uh, the team of people that work at the neutral buoyancy laboratory are amazing. They did work really hard to make it as much like space as possible, like doing a real space walk. Getting in the suit for the first time was just really surreal. We get into the suit, you get pressurized, it's a really cool experience to finally get in that spacesuit for the first time. Totally unreal. I remember being in the pool and looking at my hands and they have actual spacesuit gloves on and just thinking this couldn't possibly be real life. We went to New Mexico to study geology, but first of all we spent a week here at uh, Johnson Space Center working with an incredible group of PhDs that taught us geology, very intense, uh, week-long uh, class. We went out to the Upper Gorge region of the Rio Grande del Norte, and um, for that, it was really cool because we went to a region that had a lot of volcanic activity, and we're basically trying to piece together the story of how, how that region formed. We were broken up into teams, and we got to actually go out and map different structures in the field, pick up rocks, break them open with a hammer, and uh, actually form our own hypotheses, and then set about trying to explore them. It was a really great experience. KSE trip was incredible. Getting out there and for me the first time to get to go out and touch rockets uh, was really incredible. We got to see capsules, we got to see CST-100, we got to see SpaceX. For me, I had never been there before. This is, you know, the site where we've launched so many incredibly important missions through NASA's history. I had been there back in 2006 for a shuttle launch and to be back almost 12 years later as we're getting ready for a commercial crew to launch from Cape Canaveral again, you could sense the excitement building in anticipation for that, so that was really cool to see. And it was really exciting for me to see just how alive it really is today, all of the different vehicles that are being built and being launched right there at Kennedy. The land survival trip, um, we went to Maine for that, where the military does their survival training as well. And that entailed a lot of learning things like land navigation, how to build shelters, but it was also especially important for team building and group dynamics. It was a great way to bond with the whole group. A few of us have also gotten a chance to work at Ellington Field doing field maintenance, it's called. So uh, using the T-38 as a way to train on mechanical tools, doing repairs, learning things like sheet metal work, and uh, just generally getting to know also some of the mechanics at Ellington Field. And on Friday I have my first, what we call an integrated mastery. So it's going to be me in the mock-ups behind us with a group of 20 to 30 instructors as I go through my first exam. Uh, first major exam for the International Space Station. Across the board, one of my favorite parts of this job has been getting to know my other classmates. Everyone is so collaborative, really working together to lift each other up and building on each other's strong points. This group has been incredibly close and every single one of us um, adds a lot of value to the team and I think that's been one of the best parts of being here and training here. Subscribe for more space.